With doubtnet, get instant video solutions to all your maths, physics, chemistry and biology doubts. Just click the image of the question, crop the question and get instant video solution. Download doubtnet app today. Hello everyone. If the earth has no rotational motion, the weight of a person on equator is W. Determine the speed with which the earth have to rotate about its axis so that the person at the equator will weigh 3 by 4 W. And the radius of the earth is 6400 km. It is given here. So let us take the earth first. So let us, let's suppose this is the earth. Right. And when the earth wasn't rotating, in this question it is given that when the earth was not rotating, the weight measured was W. Right. So let's suppose this is the equator and uh, here the weight measured was W. Okay. So initially when the earth was at rest, W was equals to mg. Right. Now the earth start rotating about its axis. Then what will happen? If you see from the frame of the earth, right? If you see from the frame of the earth, a centrifugal force will act on the mass and whose magnitude will be equals to m omega square and into r, where r is the radius of the earth, right? So normal reaction will be measured as the weight. And here, W will be acting since W is the force, gravitational force between the mass and the earth, right? So, if I say the normal reaction here is equals to W minus M omega square R and this will be W dash, right? So, we can write the W dash which is measured here is W minus centrifugal force. Simple. And here the normal reaction which was measured earlier was this. So we have two weight and in this question it is given that when the earth start rotating the weight is measured as 3 by 4 W. So this W dash here is 3 by 4 W. Okay. So we'll write here as 3 by 4 mg is equals to mg minus m omega square r now you can cancel this m right so you can see you will get omega square r is equals to g minus 3 g by 4 so you will get omega square is equals to so g minus g by 4 is g by 4 r right so finally if you take under root you will get omega is equals to under root g by 4 r now you can put the value of g and radius of the earth r so here the g is 10 and r is 6400 kilometer so i will convert it into meter by multiplying it with 10 to the power 3 right so this will be 64 into 4 so after uh, making the root you will get 1 by 60 right and uh, this 0 will get cancelled out and you will get uh, 10 to the power 4 so so this will be the omega in radian per second so if you see the option the correct option here is is 1 and this is equals to 1 by 1600 radiant per second which we got after solving this right thank you for class 6 to 12 itg and neat level trusted by more than 5 crore students download doubt and app today